action. If you define morality as that which whatever behavior leads to social cohesion, that means that the, the foundation of morality for you mm -hmm. is conformity. And that will never serve as a foundation for me. So we can disagree about morality all day long, but we're disagreeing at the foundational level because I only care about so he, co social cohesion to the extent that it actually is the result of freedom being exercised with the, the eye on ultimately achieving a better world. And I'm not convinced that social cohesion is necessarily a path to a better world. Dear Atheist, it's easy to care about other people and love other people. You got a nice bank account when your life has got purpose, when you're carefree, when your body is not all diseased and your mind is not all tormented. It's easy to love other people. But let me ask you one question. If we die, that's it. Lights out. Game over. There's nothing. But if I'm dying from internal disease, or either that, if I have got a medical problem that requires stem cells, only stem cells can help me. Why should I not, if I can do it and get away with it, why should I not rob somebody? Or rob a business to get the money so that I can feel on top of my game once again and start loving other people because everything will be going roses for me again huh there's no judgment day we're all gonna die someday and game over why should I not if I can get away with it rob someone else to extend my peace and prosperity and happiness. Huh? And ultimately, if death is the end, if this guy's got a terminal cancer, what is wrong with him going out and robbing a bank and enjoying what little time left he's got? Because when you die, it's all over with. If this society kept ignoring, ignoring him, they could have given him the money, the help he needed. But now it's too late because the disease has progressed too far. There's no, it's too late to cure the disease. What is wrong with this person going out and committing mass murder? As this way of saying, I, I hate you for not loving me, huh? Since we're all gonna die. Someday, why not now? In the grand scheme of things, it's not going to matter whether we die now or million years later because, in the end, we're not going to know a damn thing about it, huh? So, where is your goddamn objective morality? There is no objective morality. <laughs> President Christopher offers five dollars and says, Why not steal from Walmart if there's no God? They're rich. I'm broke. I had a stroke. Am a failed rapper. I need the self esteem to be truly happy. You know what? I would Mr. Argue President that you Christopher. Need to eat. <laughs> you you go ahead, buddy. Yeah, I can I, I, I can Robert chime in on that because reason, it's like I have stage capitalism, and they've been stealing our our labor for years. So you know what? Turn about is fair play. I've been I've been on President Christopher. Are you atheist? It's easy for you to say you do the right thing when you've got mega bucks in your bank account. And when your life is going oh so fine, and you're doing what you want to do with, it, with your life. But let's see you get a terminal sickness. Or just walk a mile in my shoes and see if we all, we all do goody two shoes. Then. Then you'll have my respect. Right now you have my cynical mocker, mockery. It's easy to be good when you got it good. When you got it, I do. 
Not so easy, if there's no life after that. You might not be filthy rich, but you are not having to live from paycheck to paycheck. You got a nice, comfortable nest egg. You're doing what you're doing with your life what makes you happy. You're fulfilled inside. Easy as pie. If you love the world and care about everybody else, then, but walk a mile, walk a year in my shoes, and see if it's still for the same fucking way. When you're no longer able to do what you love to do, in my case, sing, rap, and make videos, let's see you care about everybody else, then, hmm? Look, I can't give a... I can't give it out, give out what I got. It's easy f for you to give it out. People are giving it to you. I ain't getting shit but pain. I got Asperger's syndrome. One of the flaws of Asperger's people is they cannot empathize. Some with Asperger's would have watched the footage of 9 11 unfold. And they would have been thinking, no one I knew died, no one I loved died. Why is this crap preempting me from seeing days of our lives? Let me put it to you in a picture risks way. If you can understand why. There is nothing worse than dying in oblivion. Game over. No more getting up on stage. And hearing the girls scream not my name. No more drinking coffee. And I love my Starbucks coffee. No more eating pizza. And I love some pizza. No more s girls coming up to me. Talking to me. Stroking my ego. No more family get togethers. No more eating watermelon. No more smelling the flowers. No more walking down the trails. I love the... I've created no more... Creating YouTube videos. No more writing songs. No more hope of ever becoming a celebrity. Red carpet celebrity. And meeting Katy Perry. And I'm supposed to give up all this for some high minded notion. Just because it ain't right. To steal. To get the life saving surgery I need. To keep from dying so I don't. Huh? President Christopher offers $5 and says, why not steal from Walmart if there's no God? They're rich. I'm broke. I had a stroke. I'm a failed rapper. I need the self-esteem to be truly happy. You know what? I would Mr. President you Christopher, <laughs> you, you go ahead, buddy. Yeah. I can I, I, I can chime in on that because reason, it's like I have... Stage capitalism and... They've been stealing our our labor for years, so you know what? Turnabout is fair play. I've been I've been on President Christopher. I I just want my time in the sun before I die. Now, if I've had my time to shine, shine brighter than the Beatles in the sun, fulfilled all my dreams, and then then maybe I'll have enough goodies to be willing to sacrifice my life for somebody else. But nameless face the statistic dying. I don't give a damn. They say you hate the others, the flaw you see worse than yourself. My worst flaw is become dying and become just a nameless, faceless statistic. Never made it famous, and nobody ever knew or gave a damn about who I was. Therefore, I don't give a damn about people who I can't put a face in the name to. And since atheists leave, none of y'all goddamn motherfuckers give enough, give enough of a fuck. About me, is each one of y'all donate five fucking dollars to my goddamn GoFundMe account. It all adds up, so I can get stem cells, so I can do this video without feeling woozy headed like I want to pass out, so I can get up on stage and rap and have girls scream my name and feel this immense pressure in my head. Don't give a fuck enough. You don't give a f enough of a fuck about me. I'll be goddamn I, if I give a god fuck about any one of y'all goddamn motherfuckers. You don't love me? Give me one goddamn reason why I should give a god fuck about any of y'all. Okay, <laughs>